Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's important video, we are going to solve two uh, Tableau interview scenarios that are being continuously asked in many interviews. So the first scenario is how to repeat rows. So now this question was asked multiple times in multiple interviews. And also the second scenario, how to build dynamic view for your measure like i am taking profit and sales as a measure and uh, this question was also continuously asked in many interviews so let us get started the first thing is like say i am building my view with respect to my category and subcategory now if you see here this type of scenario might also occur in your real time as well so if you see here for every category subcategory we have right and for that we have sales here fine now here this furniture is not repeating for every subcategory now user might want that you know they want this furniture to be repeated for every row so that type of situation might you know come in your real time challenge or as a part of project or in other part of interview so we should be in a state that we are able to solve this use case so we will see two options how we can solve first option that we can use is we can use index option to solve this okay so just write index and convert that into discrete which will generate the numbers but what we need to do is just put it in the front and you can hide it so that it doesn't look it is there so this way you can solve this and the other approach is you can also use combined field option okay so i'm just uh, trying to hold my category and subcategory item right click on that go to create option under that i'm using combined field option now this will create a combined field for me based on these two fields category and subcategory I am bringing that into the view and again placing it in the first place. Now again, this has solved my issue. So again, I can click on this and I can unhide this. So this way you can solve this type of problems if they arise in the real time. So just remember this scenario, it is very important and you know frequently implemented scenario as well. Second scenario is like say, based on the dimension I choose, my view has to automatically update like say if i'm choosing category it has to show profit and sales for my category items if i'm choosing uh, like say segment it has to show for segment like there so that is the requirement that was given as a challenge here so for the first thing what i'm doing is i'm trying to create a parameter here okay and i'm writing here as select category okay and because i have list of values i'm selecting list and also choosing the data type as a string and writing list here so the values that i want to write are category okay and maybe segment and uh, maybe a region so whatever the dimensions i have i'm trying to write so for now i'm right writing three uh dimensional values that i want you can add more if at all you want to and i'm just clicking on okay okay so i'm just clicking on show parameter now as of now the default value that we have here is category so whenever i select that it should show the view for view for category and when i select segment it should display for segment likewise for region and all, all of that should happen so let us write a calculation here so that our view will dynamically get updated so i'm writing here as a okay so i'm writing case of case of select category when we are selecting segment then i want segment field to be populated so i'm writing that likewise when i'm selecting category then i want our category to be displayed so i'm bringing that field likewise when i'm selecting region then i want region to be populated so i'm using region and i'm ending it so the more number of dimensions you have more you can write so i'm clicking on apply okay now the next thing that you need to do is take this field and drop it on your rows 
so we are using this as a dimensional field now see here whenever we are selecting segment it is displaying the values for your segment if i'm selecting category i'm getting values for my category if i'm selecting region it is displaying for region now based on your view is dynamically getting updated based on the value you are choosing from the parameter so in this way we can solve this type of a problem okay so these two scenarios are very important you know i hope you have learned something from this video if you have don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to give a comment in the comment section so that it reaches wider audience see, see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day